Hi guys, um, in this video I would like to take a few minutes to show you how you can set up some formulas in your Excel to basically calculate some sales okay, uh, that you might have here uh, in your business. So to begin, let's prepare a simple order sheet. Okay, um, Let's have um, the item, um, quantity let's have the extension which is uh, basically uh, the item multiplied by the quantity and we have text and of course let's have a total okay so um, item here I would like this to be in the currency okay so I'm going to click for cells and I'm going to choose um, currencies okay let's use English Canadian English United States dollars okay so whatever I type here it's going to show a, a dollar sign in front of the item okay and also here okay let's just put in some Prices say twelve dollars, eighteen dollars, fifty cents, two hundred dollars and ten cents, twenty three dollars, twenty three dollars. Okay, and next we have the quantity of the item. Let's just put some numbers here one, three, one, five. Okay, so. We have a basic data here in Excel, item and quantity. And the next thing that we have here is the extension, which is um, the item might uh, multiply by the quantity. Okay. So in order for us to have the data, the result shown in this um, cell, we will use uh, a formula. Okay. So first thing to do is to put the equal sign. Okay, and then select the column of the the amount which is in row 2 uh, column a so it's a2 okay and then we're going to enter the star sign this is to indicate uh, that we want to multiply the data and select the quantity which is the b2 column b row number two and then click just hit enter okay so you can see the result that uh, the Excel calculates for you. Okay. Okay. So I want um, to calculate the same thing for the rows below. Okay. So the good thing about Excel is uh, it can do this for you. And if you notice the cell at the right hand corner, you see this square, this black square. So you just move your mouse cursor onto. Uh, the corner you see this black crosshair okay what you do is just just drag this down to the rows that you want to calculate and release it and you will see that uh, the Excel will produce the result for each um, of the calculations in each row okay so if you if you put your if you click on this one you can see that uh, this is basically a3 uh, multiplied by b3 it gives you 55.5 this is the same thing you can see that the formula is applied on each single row okay so next we have the text column okay um, here we're going to use another calculation to calculate say let's say a 6% tax on each of the um, sales here okay so we're going to use the equal sign again as well and then we're going to click the column here and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.06 okay and we're going to click enter so you can see that um, the tax the amount of money involved for the tax for this uh, price here is um, 72 cents okay so same thing we want the results to be shown in each of this column all we need to select this column this cell and then drag the results 
break the break it down to the rows below to show the result. So each uh, cell here is displaying the amount of uh, dollars that is taxed on the amount here. Okay. So at this point, you can see that uh, the amount of tax that is uh, needed for each of these. Okay, but what we want now is um, the cost, the total. Okay. So same thing, we need we will use a formula to calculate for us. So we just need to start with the equal sign. Okay, and then we will select the first. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, information or data, which is the extension here. Okay, this is the C2, and then we will put a plus or edit addition addition to add the text and let's select the text column, which is D2. Okay, and we will press enter, and you can see that the for the total we will have added the text onto the price of this extension over here so um, let's go ahead and do the same thing and drag the cells so that we can show the result in all the other rows okay so there you have it so basically we now have the total for each item okay uh, which is the price of the item um, multiplied by the quantity and then plus the tax we have the total okay um, but now let's calculate the grand total okay the grand total of all this amount right here and of course to do it to do so we will use a formula okay and first things is to put the equal sign and for in order for us to calculate the grand total, we're going to use the sum function. Okay, and I'm going to click, uh, press the bracket, and then you're going to select the cells. Okay, so in, in this example, there's one, two, three, four, four cells. And we're going to close the bracket, and we're going to press enter. Okay, so the total amount is four hundred and seven dollars and sixty-eight cents for all four. Okay. So if you want to see the grand total for the sales tax, which is this one, you can do the same thing. You click here, press equals, type in sum, type in bracket, select the, uh, the cells that are related, close the bracket, enter. Okay, so you can see the total um, tax, the total amount for the tax is $23 over here. Okay, so this is how you can use um, Microsoft Excel to do some uh, calculations or use some basic formulas uh, for your um, business. So the good thing about Excel is okay. Let's say now we have you want to change this one, uh, change the quantity. So previously it was three. Say I'm going to change it to five. So when I when I when I press enter, you can see that the amount changes. Okay, it automatic, automatically changes everything. If I change it to 10, okay, uh, even if you change, let's see if you, if you change this one and quantity 5, it does the calculation automatically for you. Okay, so um, there you have it. Um, I hope that uh, you, you have learned how you can use a formula with uh, Microsoft Excel. And um, thank you for watching and have a great day.